Welcome everyone to this short session on solving electrical power quality issues. I'm Terry Cousins from TLC Engineering Solutions, and today's presentation I'm presenting for IDC Technologies. Today's topic is for anyone who would like to know how to prevent financial loss um, when they have uh, voltage dips on the electrical supply. What are voltage dips? Voltage dips are essentially brief reductions in voltage lasting from uh, less than one cycle to several seconds. They typically cause from uh, large increases in current or sudden increases in current from short circuits, faults or large loads, such as motors and so forth, and also lightning activity. And they are the most common power disturbance. If we have a look at them graphically, we will see that uh, what normally happens is the voltage comes along at a, at a fairly constant value. And then at some point in time, we get a sudden reduction in voltage. And this um, looks something like what you see on the screen. If we look at an actual recording from um, uh, a system, we'll see that uh, there we have uh, the reduction. You can see quite a substantial reduction in voltage on the three-phase graph uh, on the red phase. In terms of cost to you as a, as a user, um, interesting survey that was done in 2004 in the US, they found that 67% uh, of uh, power loss cost to end users came from these momentary interruptions, the dips that you've seen there, and uh, cost the US economy something like $52 billion. And uh, these are all short duration, 30 cycles to about three seconds in duration. And they come from these factors, uh, 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 cost of lost production, uh, cost of damaged products. So obviously, we have uh, um, an interruption on the supply. We can damage equipment. We can also increase the cost of maintenance to restore everything. And finally, we have these hidden costs, which may be due to product recalls. All equipment has a tolerance to power disturbances. And uh, the Computer Business Equipment Association in the U.S. has come up with a kind of a cone-shaped uh, graph that looks like this, where they have um, a, a susceptibility to power interruptions and anything that stays within this area over here um, would be okay. Anything outside of this area would typically have a problem. And uh, if we look at some uh, real-world recordings, you can actually see over here, um, there's the graph over there. So this is not very clear. You can see over there, there's the cone that we're trying to stay within. All these disturbances are measured. Uh, the equipment would be able to tolerate. Anything outside of this uh, envelope, equipment would uh, possibly trip out and we'd see those financial losses. Now, how do these dips interfere with industrial and commercial processes? First of all, we can get a, a loss of control um, where the uh, power loss of the power uh, results in the ability to control the process. Um, we can have things like contactors dropping out where um, when these contactors open, power is lost to equipment. We have uh, voltage flicker, which is really anything that's related to lighting. We know that if there's humans involved, we can't work often without lighting. We have uh, the machine dynamics where things like generators become unstable if they suddenly get uh, supply taken off them. And then we have uh, problems with electric machines uh, where they stall um, if power is removed. And then uh, when it's restored, they reaccelerate, uh, leading to even bigger dips. How do we solve these uh, dip kind of problems? There's a number of solutions available. You can see over here there's electromechanical solutions where we can have uh, variable control transformers, uh, constant voltage transformers, electronic step regulators, saturable reactors, electronic voltage stabilizers, and our good old favorite, the UPS, which all tend to take these dips uh, out of the system or at least reduce them within that uh, tolerance cone. Thank you very much for your time. Today's session was presented on Electromeet. Um, an e-learning product available from IDC Technologies. And if you need some more information, go to www.electromeet.com. Thank you very much for your time.